This is the Afternoon Buzz Rewind Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Thrash. Join me for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7, only on Real Rock Radio, 106.3 The Buzz. What's your rewind? I don't know about you, but I don't dig it when fashion kids or pop stars wear old school metal shirts, or metal shirts in general, unless I really believe they're a fan. And you do see a lot of people wearing early Metallica t-shirts. And if you're like me, you have to wonder, well, are they really a fan or is it just kind of something that looks cool to them? Well, apparently St. Vincent, you know, she's the pop artist. She's a, an old school Metallica fan. She tweeted out several weeks ago that she wants to be the kind of a-hole who sees a fashion kid in a vintage Metallica t-shirt and insists they be able to sing at least one song from Ride the Lightning. I, I'm not that hardcore, but I would at least want them to name a few songs. They don't have to sing them necessarily, but, you know, some pre-Black Album era stuff anyway, you know, the lesser known, I guess, even though to me all that stuff's kind of household knowledge, but, um, you know, something, come on, whatever. <laughs> X-Japan have certainly started making a name for themselves here in the States. They played Coachella a couple of times with their last performance being Saturday night, and they were joined by Marilyn Manson for a stripped-back version of Sweet Dreams. Here's a little bit for you. <laughs> Take a look at the footage at 1063thebuzz.com. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 1063thebuzz. Explaining the cloud to a senior citizen. What is the cloud? Well, Grandpa, it's where you'll be moving soon. When you die. Explaining the cloud to a child. What's the cloud? Well, it's a puff of smoke, much like the one I'll be disappearing in if your mom keeps being a mega bitch. Explaining the cloud to your current girlfriend. It's where I keep all the sex videos I shot with my exes. What? Love them or hate them, I do believe Bon Jovi belong in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there are so many out there that do belong in the Rock Hall, and and people are constantly taking uh, swings at the Rock Hall because of that. I'm one of them, you know, and Howard Stern couldn't help himself while inducting Bon Jovi back a couple of weeks ago. He took a shot at Jan Winter. He's the co-founder of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's also a co-founder of Rolling Stone, uh, saying that, uh, you know, for those who don't know, Jan is the man in charge, but he's not sure why. The guy doesn't play a musical instrument. He doesn't have a band, but he did start a great magazine, Rolling Stone, and now it's the size of a pamphlet. He said Jan required years of pondering to decide if this glorious band that sold over 130 million albums could be inducted. Now, in Winner's defense, there is a vote, but... Ultimately, it seems to me like he has the final say-so, and I've said it all along, they should change the name from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame to the Rolling Stone Hall of Fame. It'd be much more accurate. Well, you and I know all about the hard rock and heavy metal culture. I mean, you don't just listen to this music. You eat, sleep, and breathe it. And there's a documentary on the way called Long Live Rock, Celebrate the Chaos. It's pretty much about people like us. They interview fans. They also interview a lot of artists, Rob Zombie, Jonathan Davis, M. Shadows, Corey Taylor and a bunch of others, including Lars Ulrich, who always has something to say. In the trailer, he says this, quote, It's a place of solidarity. It's a place where the disenfranchised feel like they belong to something bigger than themselves. Part of the reason we all gravitate toward this music is it gives us a sense of belonging and a sense of community, end quote. They don't have a release date yet. It looks like they're looking to reach their goal before they put it out. You can go to pledgemusic.com. In the meantime... Watch the trailer, get more details, and the link to make your donation at 1063thebuzz.com. 1063thebuzz presents Nonsense Minute. They got it all wrong. 
It wasn't the apes that took over the world. No. It was them. They started with the trees. And then they pecked down all the scarecrows. No one could stop them. It was the planet of the crows. Once in power, the crows became mean. They imprisoned all us humans. They took over Broadway. They made love in our beds. They were ruthless to squirrels. Until the day we fought back. Planet of Kaka. Coming soon. Head from Corn has a documentary on the way called Loud Crazy Love, and it's not really the standard sex, drugs, and rock and roll thing you would expect from a documentary about a rock star. No, it's actually about his relationship with his daughter, Janae. It's, it's quite complicated. I mean, because when she was born, he was in corn. He was gone all the time, you know, and later he'd been really hooked on crystal meth. He decided to give all that up. He left the band, found religion, and, you know, tried to mend that relationship. It sounds like a really interesting documentary. I love the angle they're taking, and it's going to premiere actually here in our neck of the woods. There's only two premieres, one at the Dallas International Film Festival, May 3rd through 10th, and the other premiere will be out in Nashville, that film festival out there, May 10th through 19th. Uh, They don't have a release date for the wide release, but it's expected to be sometime in the fall. You can get more info at loudcrazylove.com. A new survey found that most relationships start with bad sex. The number one thing that can ruin a first encounter for men is not finishing. And 29% said trouble performing because they drank too much has ruined a first-time hookup. The number one complaint from women is not enough foreplay. And 37% said a guy's dirty sheets can ruin the mood. The top things men worry about are if they're pleasing the other person, followed by lasting long enough. The top things women worry about are what their body looks like and whether their partner is satisfied. In all, the survey found 56% of first-time hookups are awkward or downright terrible. So does that mean people can have sex that isn't terrible or awkward? Asking for a friend. 106.3 The Buzz presents Nonsense Minute. Look at your life. I know, it sucks. What you need is a life coach. I do? Of course you do! I do. (laughs) Duh! Get your very own Life Coach from Life Coach International. Life Coach International! Anytime you're doing something stupid. Do you come here often? (laughs) Your Life Coach will call a timeout. What are you doing? I was just talking. Give me 20 push-ups! It's okay, it's my Life Coach. Okay. With Life Coach International, you'll never screw up again. (laughs) What are you doing? Just having some pizza. Pizza! All right, I'll do the push-ups. Life Coach International! Get your own Life Coach from Life Coach International. You're not going to like it. But this isn't a popularity contest, princess. Yet another one of my favorite brick-and-mortar stores is on the verge of shutting down. Guitar Center is reportedly facing, quote, imminent bankruptcy. Standard & Poor's recently downgraded them to CCC- status, and that means a default of some sort is coming in the near future. Even though they let go of 180 employees in 2015, Guitar Center is carrying a debt of over one billion dollars with a b and they've narrowly avoided defaulting on repayments this month which led to the downgrade and the thing is it's not necessarily the internet that's hurting them that bad you know because every musician i know has always ordered stuff from musicians friend going back to the 80s when i first started playing guitar i would get that magazine every month it was hard for me living in vernon to go to to dallas to pick up an instrument you know a lot of uh, a lot of this is happening because Kids aren't picking up guitars the way that we did when we were younger. Instead, they're electing to go with electronic stuff, and that makes me sad. Another Nonsense Minute, brought to you by 106.3 The Buzz. I have a girlfriend now. She has a baby arm. Your girl has a baby arm? Yep. (gasps) That is awesome! Perhaps you're looking for a girl with a baby arm. Try Mismatch.com. So your new boyfriend is a flipper? No, he has a flipper. (sighs) Spanks me with it. That's awesome! Perhaps you're looking for a guy with a flipper. Try Mismatch.com. Mismatch.com finds the perfect algorithm, then throws it out. My new girlfriend's a coal digger. You mean gold digger. No, coal digger. That is awesome! You've tried the best. Now try the rest. Mismatch.com. 
During a Q&A earlier this month at the Spooky Empire Convention in Orlando, Florida, J.J. French of Twisted Sister took what appeared to be a swipe at Judas Priest, saying that, look at what you've got with Priest. K.K. Downing's gone. He went to golf, and now Glenn Tipton's gone, and it's wonderful, and now it's a cover band, essentially. Somebody out in the audience got pissed about that, and he clarified himself, saying, wait, wait, hold on. He said he comes from a world of cover bands. When Twisted Sister started in the bars, the cover bands that played the bars were better than the bands they covered. He went on to talk about Rolling Stones, uh, the Rolling Stones, who he's a big fan of. He says the guys can't even play anymore, and it bothers him that they charge $800 for a ticket. So essentially he's saying that while he considers Judas Priest to be a cover band nowadays, they actually sound better to him, I guess. You can check out that interview at 1063thebuzz.com. Hey, thanks for checking out the Afternoon Buzz Rewind podcast. Join me, Johnny Thrash, for the Afternoon Buzz weekdays from 2 to 7 on Real Rock Radio, 1063 The Buzz.